What's up, you two people? Um, boy, do I have some follow-up stories for you guys. So, uh, if you haven't been following along, check out my last few videos. Yeah, shameless plug. Um, but I got part two to both stories. So, if you guys remember, um, the guy who wanted us to go argue with Michael Golden at the show to get his money back, well, long story short, I was supposed to go to Clifton this weekend, so my friend who actually picked up the piece to give him asked gave me the piece to give him because uh, he couldn't make it to the Clifton comic book show so he gave it to me and I had the hot potato and then I was basically forced to go to Clifton but long story short the dealer I was supposed to leave it with to give to said person uh wasn't going to be at the show so I still have it but hey here's the piece that Michael Golden did for the guy I got it right here so, uh, you guys be the judge. You know, not for nothing. I wish I could have got my money back, too. But that's, uh, between me, you, and YouTube community. That being said, um, you know, I think Michael Golden got rubbed the wrong way by this guy. Because if you know him, he is uh, quite abrasive. So, he asked for Batgirl. So, what did Michael Golden say? Probably, I'll fix him and I won't even show her, uh, physical attributes. I'll just give him a bum-ass headshot. I mean, it's still technically sound. It actually uh, looks like Mike Mignola-esque, if you ask me. But uh, I don't know what he paid. I, I'm, I'm thinking 300 what I hear, but I don't really know and I don't care. But I thought it funny. I actually have the piece that uh, I was supposed to go and argue with. But uh, I'm going to get, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it to him when I see him eventually. The funny thing is, he knows I have it and he hasn't even reached out and, like, called me and said, Hey, you got my piece, uh... Can we meet? Uh, so who the F knows, but whatever, one day. Okay, next story. So uh, we know Mr. Uh, Mister Dylan Universe comic uh, gobbledygook. So um, since my video, uh, he, he, he called me up and made amends, and he said he was going to send me some books. We know I ain't going to get $200 out of this kid. Um, so he agreed to send me some books uh, to make it worth my while. I agreed because I know... Uh, I could shake him upside down and I ain't going to get a nickel. Cheaper than free lunch. So I thought, you know, the kid being a comic book dealer, he's going to do the right thing. Since it's not like costing him a nickel, he'll send me like, not even a $200 book, a $100 book maybe. I could go sell it. Because if he sends me a $100 book, he's probably in it for like 20 30 40 bucks. Anyway, this is what he sent me. Uh, yeah, brace yourself, guys. Like, look... Look at these books. I, You know, I was scared to even take them out of the ba bag and board. Like, I didn't get a tetanus shot. So this is what he sent me. That. Yeah, great. They're great books if they weren't, like, 0.5 copies. Uh, you know, the Mylars are worth more than these books. I never, I never saw a book that I think had been in a flood and in a fire at the same time. I mean, ridiculous. Like, I skeeve even touching them. And I don't want to go on and on, but like detach this and that like it's not even the thought that counts like you know like I did you a favor and instead of getting money for it I agreed to like be compensated with comics Send me a book worth a hundred bucks like stop the bullshit And the best part is he swears that he got about a hundred subs uh, From a few days after I made the video he doesn't think it was because of my video that he got the subs. Not like millions of people watch my shit, but the guy was tracking at 200 for weeks on end. I make a video and then he has 100 new subs in a week. He swears it's because of him and not me. Uh, the kid, uh, you gotta admire uh, the delusional world he lives in. He's been, uh, he did a bootleg video from Public Access, I don't know, like four years ago. It was like an hour-long video. So he's been editing that in like clips of one minute and reposting it. He's being interviewed by some wannabe Fonzie who knows nothing about comic books. And he's reposting those like a hundred times a day. And that's the reason he got more subs. But hey, who knows? But anyway, uh, this was my uh, thank you, I guess. Backwards compliment. Moving on, I, uh, I picked this up. It was just a nostalgic book I got from when I was little. This is, a. Uh, I love this. It was um, just like a one-shot trade. This, they rebooted it. It's the same story. They just redid it. And it's like, it's uh, the original cover had Venom with like a red border. I wanted to buy the original. I can't believe it. it goes for like 30 to 50 bucks online. Ridiculous. So I got this copy for like 5 to $8. It's the exact same book inside. It's just like the second printing, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Uh, moving on. 
I picked this up. I, I don't think I showed this. Uh, I got to move the camera for a second. I picked this awesome Hulk box up at uh, my, well, I guess it's my local comic shop. I, I feel weird to call a store my local because, like, I don't know. When you say local, I feel like it has the connotation that, like, you, you have an attachment to the store. And, uh, like, you know, you support it. Like, I got nothing against the store. It's the closest one to me, like, 20 minutes away. But, like, it's not my... I only go there because it's the closest one to me if I need something. And I, I don't really go often. Uh, like, the guy's nice and everything. But I just... Uh, I don't know. I guess... Well, let me know your thoughts. When I hear people say my local, I feel like it's your local bar. And, like, you have a connection with the place. So, uh, it's, I guess, my pseudo-local. Anyway, I picked uh, the box up there. It was, like, 10 bucks. Awesome uh, Alex Frost uh, cult cover. I got this uh, Wolverine signed by Klaus. Uh, only three bucks. I got that. I got this for fifty. Another Archer Armstrong, fifty cents. I got Klaus one, fifty cents. And then I got this. So let me ask you guys, like your opinion. You know, uh, he has it marked as a good, uh, and it was half price, so it was three bucks. And I'm like, well, this isn't a good. It's it's like, you know, there's, it's got some issues superficially. It's my mistake. I didn't check under the hood. But there's, um, you know, the Marvel stamp's cut out, and another thing is cut out. So, like, I had no idea. I feel like the dealer knew, and he didn't say nothing. I'm just assuming he undergraded it, but he actually graded it what it should be. A good has the chance that stuff's cut out. So, like, I'm a little annoyed. I mean, it's $3. The world didn't end. But I was, I, I'm, I was disappointed as a better. I'm, I'm not even annoyed. I was just disappointed because I thought I scored. You know, if the, if it was complete, it's a $15, $20 book. So uh, I thought I was getting over, and really he was getting over on me. And last but not least, I went to uh, the Meadowlands Flea Market. Uh, and I, you know, it's hit or miss. And you got, you know, the when you, got, when you see, there's some comic book dealers there. It's hard to find something because everyone runs to them like 6 in the morning and try to find like any mistakes. But the best is when you go and they got a million tchotchkes on the table and then they got like two, um, like 20 comics stashed in a corner. They have no idea. Those are the places you can get lucky and hit pay dirt. And sadly, I haven't hit pay dirt in this place in ages, but I don't, I don't go often enough. Anyway, I got the, nothing major. I got Batman. I thought it was because it was bagged. It might be something unique, but I think they were all bagged. Um, I think it's issue six or seven. Whatever. I got Godzilla number one. I got that. A dollar a piece. I got the Batman for a dollar. I took a shot. You know, sometimes you're, you're running around and you just roll the dice. You don't have to look every single book up. Who gives a shit? I got Godzilla number one. I think Arthur Adams did this one. Uh, I got this. This is another one. I thought it was an oddity. I took a shot. There actually is one worth money. Uh, it's like the platinum, I think, and it has uh, the little symbol down there. I don't think this one is worth anything. I still gotta like uh, look it up and do a little bit of research. And last but not least, I got this. Pretty cool. Uh, now again, not worth anything, but in the street, I took a shot. the The book and record set. The book is beat up to death, but the records in there in intact. So I got I got all these books for I got this was uh, two bucks, and I got the other three three books a dollar a piece. So for five dollars. It was like a $5 lotto ticket, uh, you know, without looking stuff up. I thought maybe I'd get lucky with one of these. I mean, turns out none of them are worth anything, but still cool for $5 all day. I just wish I had a record player to uh, play the thing. <laughs> I want to buy one, but I'm going to regret it after playing it for like five minutes and getting my full. And then what? And then I'm stuck with a record player with one record of a bootless scratched Spider-Man uh, album. Anyway, that's it, Jimmy C. Signing off. I hope you like the follow up to two uh, current stories, uh, two banana heads I'm dealing with <laughs> the good, the bad, the ugly, the funny. And uh, let's give it up. What do you guys think of uh, this Michael Golden? Uh, is he falling off or, or what? You know, do you like it, not like it? I don't know. It's, it's like a French bulldog. It's so ugly, it's like good in a way. I don't know. Or maybe it's just ugly. Talk to you guys later.